or be discriminated against in the issuance of an immigrant visa because of the person's race, sex, nationality, place of birth, or place of residence. This executive order, which denies entry of seven majority Muslim countries, is an overreach by the Trump administration. It is, the, it is in the violation of the First Amendment's freedom of religion, and that is a violation of the Fifth Amendment's rights to due process. <laughs> My family is from Yemen, the impoverished, impoverished and war damaged country is one of the seven Muslim majority countries whose citizens face a 90 day ban on entering the United States. My community is living in fear. The Asian Law Caucus has received countless calls from concerned members wondering if they can or should travel to Yemen, if they can bring their families, if they are safe in America. They did not leave their countries to be treated like criminals. Irrespective of what the new president is calling this action, implementing policy that takes religion into account cannot be denied that this is a ban on our identity as Muslims. America must always side with freedom, liberty, and democracy. This is what the refugees were looking for in their countries and now seeking in other countries. Trump's order may have been its Trump's order may have its closest parallel in the 19th century with the Chinese Exclusion Act, which was ruled constitutional at the time, and the 1940s Japanese concentration camps, also constitutional at the time. Now the Muslim ban is considered constitutional. Silence is neither an option nor a solution. And now we're going to have to, we're going to do a call for prayer as a sign of resistance to the fact that we will always be proud of being Muslim and we will always express our religious freedom.